It's Wednesday morning and I have pretty much just got loose ends to tie up today. I need to try and film a video but my main priority is going to be packing up things, writing the letters and getting them all ready to send hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed. I'm kind of hoping to, because I've got therapy tomorrow, take tomorrow off. Like obviously I'm still going to be going to the post office and I'm probably going to edit a bit of this vlog but like I'm not going to go through my to-do list and mark things that need to be done. Um, because I know that once I've had CBT therapy, my head's a bit not quite there. <laughs> and then Friday as well, I'm probably going to take a day off. So I've got like a weekend in the middle of the week. And then hopefully Saturday and Sunday I'll do work. So I'm just kind of swapping the weekend days. Yeah, I'm going to try and get as much done today as possible. And then hopefully tomorrow and Friday I can somewhere find some chill time. <laughs> My first job for the day is to write the letters and finish packing these boxes. Actually before I start that I'm going to post a video on my Patreon which I've had uploaded. It was uploaded Monday I think um, but I've not made the thumbnail and stuff for it. So I'm going to do that and post it on Patreon so it's up. And then the other video is the one that I want to film today so I can get it up somewhere this week. My Patreon tends to be kind of like collage sheets and sneak peeks of the collection and stuff at the start of the month and then at the end of the month I do the boxes and the videos. Oh and also at the start of the month I'm making the art pieces as well. In an ideal world I'd probably have the videos at the start of the month and shipping these out at the start of the month as well but I tend to design the next month's collection um, kind of mid-month but to be honest I haven't finished July's one yet so I need to get on that at some point um, but yeah, I tend to do that mid-month. Then I get the stuff like the art prints and postcards sent to the printers at the end of the month so they don't arrive until mid-month so I can't pack them until the end of the month. That's kind of how it works. I am trying hard to get ahead of myself so I'm like double months ahead. That wasn't English. <laughs> I'm obviously doing July's collection in June but I want to try and do July and August and get it sent to the printers so I have two lots of art stuff coming and then I'm ahead of myself. I haven't had the time to do that yet so I'm just rolling month to month and at some point hopefully I'll get ahead of myself we'll see <laughs> try and print the uh, shipping labels because the past I think two months maybe three I don't know I haven't been able to print them so I've been handwriting them which is fine I can do that but I have a label printer and it's just for some reason been playing up it does this sometimes and the time it would take me to faff around with trying to fix it I've just kind of gone, like the past few months, I've just kind of gone, nah, <laughs> we'll handwrite them, it's fine. But I want to try and get it sorted again because I have 20 something packages to pack up today and it would just save a bit of time if I can get it to work. <laughs> I'm going to give myself like 10 minutes to try and get it sorted, but if it's if it's still going up then I'm going to give up and I'll just handwrite them. It's just one of the technology things that's, that's backfired on me recently. <laughs> So hopefully it will work. I don't know why it would when it hasn't been for the past few months, but just feeling hopeful today, clearly. <laughs> I have just saved myself about 20 minutes or so of writing out dresses. Thank you label writer, appreciate that. 
Okay, in that case, before I get started with writing the letters and packing those up, I'm going to print off all the address labels that I need. I don't know why it hasn't been working, and now all of a sudden it's like, you know what, I fancy working. Why? Why does that happen sometimes? <laughs> okay, I'm happy. Let's get them printed. So I've printed all of those. Uh, I have my camera on, a notepad that is on, <laughs> the postcards that I need. I'm going to do these ones first. These are for the mini art piece patrons. So these ones just go in envelopes basically. I write a little postcard for everyone and pop it in with one of the art pieces. You probably can't really tell that they're all a bit different, or well, you kind of can from the washi tape at the top. They're all a little bit different, but yeah that's that's the little art pieces for this month and then i'm going to get some writing paper and write a little letter to the 15 <laughs> um happy mail patrons which are the top tier people who are on the highest tier on my patreon that's the plan i'm going to get started i will probably time lapse this bit because it will take me a while <laughs> so i'll speak to you again when i'm finished they're all packed up there's only a few of them because a lot of people moved when i opened new slots on the happy mail tier a lot of people moved up which was really cool so i think there's only five people in that tier right now which means there's five slots still open if anyone's interested so moving on to the happy mail boxes i write an actual letter because the postcards i leave blank so they can use them um, and they get one of each postcard design each month so yeah i write them a little letter and i make it into a little origami envelope which I'll show you in a minute but it means that they need to be square and the paper I use is rectangular it's from this Kiki K pad that I have um I can't remember which collection <laughs> it was from but it's that one um from a couple of years ago but it has some really nice like happy mail themed paper inside so I use that and I try to cut them so they still have like little illustrations or like this one says write it down so yeah i'm going to cut all of these into squares and then when i've written the first letter i'll show you how i turn it into an envelope show you this i'm gonna have to point it right down so you won't see my face so this is my square of paper and i've written a little letter on it for emma i've obviously folded it in half already to cut it into a square so i have my little my little triangle i basically fold these two ends inwards um i found this on pinterest as well it was i think i was just searching for cute little origami thing because I didn't want to put just like a blank letter or a boring letter in the packages I wanted to learn a fun way of putting them in there I've got my two little corners folded in I'm going to take this one and fold it back on itself so then it's like a little 
spike in the middle and then this is the weird bit you have to like you have to open it up and kind of flatten it in on itself so it then looks like that so obviously started off like that folded back on itself and then i've flattened it down this is where it gets fiddly and then this is like the worst angle to show you but <laughs> um i'm gonna fold this little flap down and then i'm gonna cut up here just to the middle basically fold these two bits this is the worst origami tutorial ever um <laughs> you basically fold these two bits upwards so i folded these two flaps upwards this is where it gets fiddly i might have to bring this camera down hold on let's put you down here so i can try and show you this the best i can <laughs> i'll try and find a link to the tutorial that i used and i'll put it in the description um but yeah you just need to fold like the tiniest bit over so it's like can you see i folded like the tiniest bit upwards and then you have to just flop them up like put them back up so they're like that and then you fold these two corner bits like this corner and this corner here you fold them backwards on themselves but only like again the tiniest bit this is like the most fiddly bit so if you can do this bit then you're sorted so then it basically turns that into a heart and then you just have to fold so i fold this over the heart to start with so i know it goes down far enough like that and then you can just tuck it into the little heart so they have a little origami letter so i'm gonna write the rest of my letters and sort out the boxes i tend to pack up the boxes as i write the letters because once they're folded like this i obviously don't know which letter is which so now i've done emma's i will pack up her box put her label on it and pop it over there a lot later now and I didn't film me doing all of these because it would have just it would have just been so repetitive I just need to close them all up properly take them up put any labels and stuff that need to go on them return labels things like that I also need to tidy my office space and also put the dog toys away that Bonnie has hauled in here at some point yeah <laughs> that's the state of my office right now so once I've finished packing those up I don't think I'm gonna film a video today just because it's half three now and I know that my brain is going to be like, okay, I'm tired now, let's stop, because this sort of time of the day, just, it just doesn't work for me. I can't, I don't know why, but when it hits like three o'clock, my brain just goes, Ooh. instead of filming a video, I'm going to go through and just kind of finish up things like emails, admin-y stuff for work, um, which isn't too interesting, so <laughs> yeah. In terms of this vlog, I think I'm going to finish it here. I was trying to figure out what to do like how to lay these out because originally i was going to do like a whole week and then finish it up at the end of the week and post it next week but i feel like i'm gonna have too much footage now i know i can upload more <laughs> i feel like i'm recording more so i'm gonna keep them as studio vlogs not weekly vlogs so then i can just record whatever over however long <laughs> edit it and upload it whenever so we're a bit more flexible on my end um it does mean that the videos that i end up putting out will probably be more chatty a bit like i won't cut out as many things that i used to because i needed my videos to be less than half an hour so i'd cut out a load of like random chit chat but let me know what you think if you're fine with that to be honest though even if you're not fine i'm probably not going to turn back to doing weekly vlogs just just because that's a lot of footage to go through as well <laughs> um there's only so much of my face and my voice that i can edit in a row i'm gonna label up all the boxes and i will speak to you in the next vlog mm -hmm.